Mm. Oh, that's yummy. Mm. Um. Oh, sorry. What am I eating? I'm eating 매운 돼지 갈비. That's spicy Korean pork ribs. Ooh, it's kind of spicy, but so yummy. Oh yes, that's what we're making today. We're gonna make spicy Korean pork ribs. What's that? You want a bite before we start? Here we go. Say ah. Uh. and welcome to Modern Pepper. And Modern Pepper channel offers lesson-based Korean cooking for authentic Korean dishes as well as Korean fusion dishes. So if you have not subscribed, please do consider subscribing. So let's dive right into making our spicy Korean pork ribs. Now before we begin, I'm going to teach you how to say 매운 돼지 갈비. 매운 means spicy, Dueji means pork, kalbi means meat on a rib. Meun deji kalbi. It's not that bad if you just practice it over and over and over. <laughs> Alright, so let's first get started on making our marinade. Third cup of soy sauce, quarter cup of mirum, one tablespoon of brown rice vinegar, one tablespoon of olive oil, one tablespoon of dark miso paste, one tablespoon of honey, two bay leaves, three to four garlic, finely chopped, half a tablespoon of garlic powder, and one tablespoon of Korean red pepper flakes called gochugaru. And this is optional. I'm gonna put half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, but you could certainly put less because this is uber spicy. Look at that, beautiful. Quarter cup of Korean red pepper paste called gochujang mm. and some freshly grated ginger. We need about one teaspoon or so of freshly grated ginger using a microplane. Look at that. Oh, I love the smell of freshly grated ginger. And then just scrape the back using it like this. We need three stalks of green onion. That's it, simple as that, and we're just gonna mix this up. Oh, I wish you could smell this. The smell of fresh ginger and all the herbs and soy sauce and, mm, and gochujang, oh. All right, now we have to taste it because, you know, spiciness is very very personal like for me when i hang out with my some of my girlfriends they think that i can't handle spiciness and then in my household they all look at me like i'm crazy because i'm sitting there and going through piles of napkin because i'm just sweating because it's so spicy so i mean taste it you know you might want it more spicy or you might say "Ooh, that's a little too spicy for me so you should cut down on the gochujang and gochugaru and don't add the cayenne pepper so let's have a taste Mm. Oh, mm, so yummy. I think the ribs are gonna be so happy in love with this spicy marinade. I mean, they're just gonna go together. Mm, yum, 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 yum. So here's our beautiful slab of pork ribs and I'm using the St. Louis cut and we wanna remove the membrane. So take a butter knife and go under it like so and just lift the corner and it's really important to remove the membrane because you want your marinade to seep through the muscle of your meat and these these membrane guys are also tough so when you cook it it gets really rubbery take a piece of paper towel and just simply pull it across like so and if you don't want to do this part ask your butcher to do it for you and ask nicely <laughs> and tip them or else they'll never want to help you next time you go there. Um, just kidding. Anyway, so just pull it off. 
and using a sharp knife follow the line of the rib and just go straight down like so and I like to use the St. Louis cut over the baby back ribs because this is more meaty and we are at our last rib once your water comes to boil turn the stove off completely and to this we're gonna add some salt just enough so that it tastes salty take a half a lemon and just squeeze it dunk it in here and let this water just rest and hang out for five minutes and then we're just gonna put the ribs in here and have it take a quick bath so this is a trick that I learned from a Korean restaurant that specializes in spicy pork ribs so let the ribs soak in here for no more than 30 seconds and look we just want to blanch these guys in hot water but not boiling water and for the reason for doing this is to remove all the impurities and the funky smell and also excess blood so you're not really cooking the meat right now look at all the impurities that this warm water extracted from my ribs look at that all right now we're going to put our ribs in here I mean coat them nicely in our sauce mm, it smells so good Oof, does that look good or does that look good? Look at, oof, that looks so good. So marinate these ribs in a Ziploc bag for at least 12 hours. If you don't have 12 hours, I highly recommend that you marinate the ribs for at least an hour to two hours. Oh, yum. And these are not even cooked yet. You know, all the Korean ingredients that we use today, if you don't live near a Korean supermarket, I got you. Just check out the description box and I'll have those online links there. And also on my website at modernpepper.com. And as always, if you make any purchases using those links, I do get a tiny little commission. That means that you're supporting my channel and I just wanna say thank all you. All right, make sure your grill is super hot bone side up if you don't hear that sizzling sound when you put your meat down that means your grill is not hot enough look how beautiful this looks now you see the leftover marinade do not throw this away we're going to use this to finish cooking off our ribs later that's the sound of happiness all right so it's been about two minutes and we just want to have that little bit of that charred mark like that a little bit of dark brownness is always good when you're barbecuing in my opinion turn everything over so everything's still on super high heat and we just want to again add a little bit of that dark brown charred mark on our meat i wish you could smell this like you could smell the sweetness of the pork meat Ooh, la, la. all right it's time to wrap these guys up so i have two sheets of heavy duty aluminum foil and we're just going to move this over to the side a little bit and then put this down and with the ribs part facing down the thicker one and then lay the others on top and then i want you to close your vent so we're going to turn down the heat so here's the leftover marinade from earlier and we're just going to pour it on top i want you to find the coolest part of your grill so the coolest part of the grill for me is right here in the front so I'm gonna push this to the front and then we're gonna loosely just kind of put this together. So there's an opening on top and things could air out. And then we're gonna close the lid and then come back in about five minutes and check on our ribs. All right, let's take a peek at our ribs and see how it's doing. Ooh, do you see that? You see that? You see that lovely bubbling sauce down there? That's the excess marinade. Mm, this looks almost done. Let's give it another two, three minutes. So I want you to move the ribs around. So the bottom one goes on the top and the top one goes on the bottom. So restack everything so that the ribs have a chance to sort of marinate in this, look at that, in this velvety spicy sauce. Oh, I'm drooling as I'm speaking. Oh, yum. Okay, so time to taste with you. 
I'm gonna take this pretty one on top and just have a bite, all right? Mmm. Mmm. The pork meat, it has a bite, but it's still so moist. And then the meat has this like nice crusty caramelization. So it gives this like depth of really yummy barbecue taste. Oh, and I'm like my face is starting to say, ooh, you just ate something spicy. So again, the spicy level, you can make it uber spicier than this, or you could tone it down a lot. So it's up to you. But I kind of like it, this level of spiciness. Mm. And we have my roll of paper towel. <laughs> Oh, my face is starting to glisten. Mm. Sorry, finger licking good. That sauce is the bomb. Now, when it comes to eating Korean barbecue, whether it's spicy or non-spicy, you know, it's very, very common to have lettuce wrap with it. It's called Sam, not Sam. It's spelled S-S-A-N. So people call it Sam or Slam, but it's not, it's Sam. So there's an H in there that's kind of silent. I mean, it's just phonetic pronunciation that I'm teaching you. So it's not the uh, proper way of spelling it. So any lettuce of your choice, I'm using red lettuce. And of course, Gennib is my favorite when I have Korean lettuce wraps. But again, you could put frise, whatever, ridicule, whatever favorite greens of your choice. Some rice. And I'm gonna take scissors and cut off a piece of the meat. Oh, this is gonna be so good. And then I'm gonna put some Korean samjang, which is basically a condiment. So samjang, you could buy it at any Korean grocery store or you can make it at home and I have a video for that. So I'll list the link in the description box below. And some pa and oimuchim, which is scallion and cucumber. It's like a must vegetable that you add. You could also put sliced garlic or peppers, it's up to you. And then just wrap it up. And there's a Korean saying that when you wrap one of these up and make it for someone, you're wrapping up blessings for them and you're feeding them. Isn't that so sweet? <laughs> anyway, the key is you make it bite-sized. You don't make it into a taco or eat it this way. Some is meant to be eaten. Bite-sized so it goes into your mouth, into my mouth at once. I can do it. <laughs> mm. 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 The ribs, oh, just, it's like there's so much flavor, but it has a, such a nice bite. Oh, it's so delicious. Oh, that's yummy. Now I have to show you another way of enjoying this. So you take the excess marinade, you put it on your rice, you mix it all up. Mm. I mean, this is such a great way to eat it. It's called, <laughs> you have to peep y'all. So good. So you have it with some rice. Mm. Mm, so yummy. Mmm, it's spicy. I'm starting to sweat. Oh, it's so good. Oh, see, when I start doing this, when I go out to eat with my husband, he gets so embarrassed. <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> oh, oh, speak of the devil. Sorry. Hey, honey. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. Play golf tomorrow. Yeah. No, no, no. It's okay. I'll, I'll babysit your kids. <laughs> no, I insist. I think you should go play 100 rounds of golf tomorrow. Yeah, it's fine. All right. Book your tea time. All right. I'll see you later. Bye. Well, well, well. <laughs> I guess it only means one thing. Somebody's not even gonna get a lick of these delicious spicy pork ribs. Just kidding, my mother-in-law is watching. Omanim, I will make sure that your son is fed these delicious ribs, okay? I was just kidding. Thank you so much for watching. So I hope you try these ribs at home with your friends and family. And if you enjoyed watching this video, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it if you would click on that thumbs up icon. And for those of you who have not subscribed, please do subscribe because I would love to cook with you again, making yummy, yummy, authentic Korean dishes as well as Korean fusion dishes. And until next time, happy, happy 매운 돼지 갈비 time with your family and friends. Bye now.
Boy, oh boy, you want to talk about having something refreshing? Ah, oh, 